protests against the decision of the new Patriotic Party National Executive Committee to, to acclaim Dr. Kiro Mahama as the new Patriotic Party's parliamentary candidate for the Wale constituency. Why exactly these protests? We find out are here on your election command center. And we, we, we have the latest on that earlier today. The party, the National Executive Committee of the NPP, uh, acclaimed Dr. Kabiru Mahama after the incumbent member of parliament that for this Wale Wale constituency, Aja Zueratu, decided to withdraw from their race. This is your election command center. So, the National Executive Committee of the MPP eventually took a decision today after the incumbent for the Wale Wale constituency withdrew. We, we dealt with it quite extensively yesterday on Ghana Tonight. The party has taken a decision. Dr. Kabiru Tia Mahama is the man they are going with into election 2024 in their home constituency of the flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, the Wale Wale constituency. And we've shown you the strength and the mettle of the NDC candidate in that constituency. The MPP believes Dr. Tia Kabiru Mahama is the man who would match this NDC candidate, Abdullah Abubakar, boot for boot, I mean, for the lack of a better expression. But this is the national chair of the MPP, Stephen and team, after that neck meeting earlier today. Take a look. What is the way forward for Omar? A bit of cock all year, Kunko. What is the way forward? Morning, we have resolved it. The Vida Santi has been on the standby to hear something like maybe there will be a next. Primary or something like that, but that's not what happened. Um, the, the candidates, two of them, right? One step down, and that is good. Okay, Chema, I'm a, I'm a co-independent, and then I got two days from Akoko Fale, now I'm going to use a Christian nomination. And then I'm going to have fun, I'm going to say, I'm going to Are you trying to reach out with them? Oh, independent, even the day before the general election, right? You can, you can, you can get them to step down. Has it been any deliberate discussions with uh, Cynthia Morrison? We are we are working on Cynthia uh, more Central, right? Yeah. She's a party member, committed party member. She may be, be aggrieved in one way or the other. Yeah. We are going to be pressing on her to drop it. Uh, Friday is the closing day, but that is in Tira as far as getting an independent person candidate to step down. Mm -hmm. So even after Friday, we can still get her to. So, you know, would you say this meeting really, uh, really was a fruitful discussion? Oh, yes, very much so. That's what I'm able to engage with you. Okay. 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 That's the national chair of the party. So the party has taken a decision. Dr. Kabiru Tia Mahama is the man they're going with. But if you recall, in January, yes, he, 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 he won that disputed election. The, that's the primaries that was quashed by that court decision with some 345 of the valid vote cast on that day, January 27, this year. Well, guess what? What we're learning is that some NPP youth in the Wale Wale constituency earlier today cautioned the party's national executive Council against any decision that would put Dr. Kabiru Chia Mahama as their candidate, that's the MPP candidate in the Wale Wale constituency. In fact, the, the, a number of them masked up and protested that decision by the neck that said, No Hajia Zuratu, no vote. Take a look bridge the gap between the various factions and gather widespread support from all sides. Furthermore, the parliamentary election primaries conducted on the 9th were marred by controversies and chaos. An altercation involving Mr. Musa, an agent of KB, escalated into violence, resulting in the destruction of essential ballot papers. Despite this destruction, it was evident from the party's sorting of the vote that Hajia Larva Abudu was in the leading position. This evidence underscores our belief that her candidacy remains strong and that her decision to step down is both premature and unjustified. We are unequivocally prepared to and believe.
impossible. It is impossible to adequately support Dr. Kabiru Mahamatia if he is being selected by NEC as the candidate for the Wale Wale constituency. Well, there you have it. So they, they, those are supporters of uh, Ajazwira. They're not too happy about the decision she took. And Christopher Marco is a man on the ground. He's been monitoring the developments there. He's joining us. Chris, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. And we're hearing the supporters now of Haji Azuera too. What more do we know about the currency on the ground as we speak? Yes, so uh, Alfred, you know that uh, the situation in Walwali is a very serious one that needs uh, the MPP to take a, a very bold step in addressing the uh, issues there uh, in order for them to uh, win that particular seat. A lot has happened over the period from January 27. Uh, till now, uh, a lot more uh, has been happening on daily basis, especially so uh, when a cross-section of the youth uh, earlier today uh, came out to hold a press conference to ask it where, first of all, register their displeasure uh, on the part of their uh, uh, candidate, that is Hadja Lareba Zuera Abudu, uh, to have withdrawn from the contest without informing them. They actually uh, registered their displeasure in that uh, regard and also uh, registered their displeasure in the fact that some party big weeks earlier uh, 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 didn't want Hadja to win the uh, constituency primary and so that accounted for all this. But they also sent a caution to the uh, MPP as a political party not uh, to confirm Dr. Kabiru as the uh, uh, parliamentary candidate, which the party has since done. And so uh, right now in the Walwali constituency, uh, I must say the right. camps are sharply divided between supporters of uh, Dr. Kabiru and Hadja uh, Lariba Abudu. Mm. Uh, Alfred, I must say that uh, the MPP, if they actually want to win the Walwali constituency, right. They have a lot to do uh, assistance now because the youth are sharply uh, divided when it comes to the support base. And so a lot more has to go into uh, the constituency if actually the MPP wants to win uh, the seat. But Alfred, let me just add that you know that in the 2020 elections, the yeah. MPP did not do so well than uh, the NDC. The gap is just a little over 1,600. And That's so true. it's that the NDC with a little push, they can cause some trouble in the constituency. And, and, and it's important that you make that point. And it's the symbolic nature of this constituency being the constituency of the vice president, the flag bearer of the party. Let's bring in Dr. That's, that's Alhaja Bukhar Ibn Suleiman. He is a campaigner for Dr. Kabiru Tia Mahama. He's a campaign manager uh, for Dr. Tia Mahama, who's been confirmed now as uh, the party's candidate in the Walla Walla constituency. Alhaj Abu Bakar Ibn Suleiman. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Thank you very much. Good evening to you and your constituents. Have you, have you seen this video of these um, young men and women, as a matter of fact, who say they are supporters of the MPP and not too happy about the decision to acclaim Dr. Kabiru as the candidate for the Walewale constituency? And for that reason, they say the party risks losing their support. Have you seen that? Well, uh, those uh, who came out and did the press conference this evening, uh, all of them are wearing the face of uh, natural democratic country. They are, well, they are not well recognized in the face of new patriotic party in the world. world they are members of NDC. They are members of NDC opposition. So they are in the image of the new patriotic party in the world. world. Uh, the Can't people we saw, the, the people we saw in the video, who were saying they are supporters of, of uh, Hadia Zuratu are members of NDC. They have fake their support based on the face of uh, one of Hadia Zuratu, Abudu, and you can even uh, look on their faces that uh, Hadia Zuratu Abudu is the blood, uh, <clears throat> is the blood of uh, His Excellency Alhaji Dr. Mahmoud Bawumia. Are they being their NDC supporters? In the world, world constituency, they wouldn't have come out to prove their support uh, to NDC. 
Interesting. Well, um, th thank you for, for this. And it's something that uh, we would look into because Chris is on the ground. Al-Hajj Abubakar bin Suleimana, thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight.